For the next week, we're going to be doing the 6 a.m. Instacart shift at this HEB. All right, well, welcome to day one. Just woke up. It is 5.15, and honestly, I'm feeling kind of excited. I'm sure it's going to wear off pretty fast, but yeah, I just made some breakfast. We're going to go shower and go head to HEB. All right, so let's talk about this challenge some more and some of the rules. I'm going to be working five to six hours every single day besides Tuesday. So yes, you can call me a clickbaiter for not actually doing the seven days, but I'm giving myself Tuesday off because it is so slow in my market. Also, if Instacart's not giving me any orders, I'm gonna allow myself to use Walmart Spark, Favor, and even shipped Instacart's basically mortal enemy. So anyways, as you guys can see here, just waiting, having an absolute blast on my first day, wondering why in the world I decided to make this challenge. Just keep in mind, I've been waking up at 8 a.m. for the past five years straight, so waking up at 4.45 in the morning is pretty rough for me. So part of this challenge is gonna be overcoming my inability to wake up early. All right, guys, so it's been almost an hour. This is the first Instacart order we've seen. 26 miles for $28. And the funny part is every single one of these customers is by a different HEB. There's an HEB over there, here, and there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do some Walmart Spark if things don't pick up, because we have to finish this incentive today. It is about 10.50 a.m. We've been out for almost five hours now. We're doing pretty good. I uh, think we're gonna be around 170 with this promo now. Just mostly doing Walmart Spark. One favor order, no Instacart. I've had Instacart on this entire time and the only order I've seen was this. Yeah, not the greatest. Had a little bit of drama this morning with an ID. May or may not get deactivated on Spark because of it, so that's fun. And uh, next up, we're delivering all that water. It's 12 gallons of distilled water up to the third floor of an apartment. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's only 18 bucks, but we're, we're getting a free workout in today. Also, fun fact, I saw a hen run this morning at the Walmart parking lot. Welcome to Walmart. These are just Walmart things, you know? All right guys, happy to say we finally got an Instacart order. It only took us all morning. Ironically, it's also gonna be my last order for the day to put us really close to 190, including the Spark promo. So we're gonna drop this off and then I'll show you my total for Monday. Alrighty, so welcome to Tuesday. This is my off day. I always take Tuesdays off because it's so slow in my market, it's not even worth working. So we're heading to the lake right now and I'll meet you guys there. Alrighty guys, it is 5.58 a.m. We just got to the HEB. We're hoping to actually get an order this time. Last time we came all the way out here and didn't see an order. We had a lot of fun yesterday and uh, not gonna lie, did not get much sleep last night. I could not 
fall asleep for the life of me. I was really tempted just to quit this challenge already. Um, technically only on the second day, but we're pushing through on about two hours of sleep, so wish me luck. Hopefully we get something that makes this worth it. At this point, I was starting to get pretty discouraged with this challenge, especially considering the first day we saw nothing at the 6 a.m. drop, and today I saw nothing for about 30 minutes, but things finally did turn around for us. Alrighty guys, so we just got a $35 order. Looks like it was uh, six miles or something and 52 items, so a lot of shopping is about to happen. But it's better than sitting for an hour when I'm this tired. Something that I really like about doing Instacart as my full-time job is that I get to explore all day. I find new areas of my town that I've never seen before and areas I'd probably never even come across if I wasn't driving all day for my job. I've been able to find new parks, new trails, and even cool new restaurants. A big shout out to this random NPC who asked me where does Walmart go at 7 a.m. Walmart things. Alrighty, so day three is officially over. We were able to power through. We, we worked right around five and a half hours and made basically like 98 bucks. Pretty happy with that. Definitely still getting used to the schedule. If I got a full night of rest, things probably would have been better today, but I just could not get to sleep. So anyways, today we're gonna get some rest, go take a nap and uh, get prepared for tomorrow. Really excited for the weekend though, it's coming up. I'm thinking we're gonna have some pretty good luck, especially on Sunday. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. See you guys on day number four. Welcome to day number four of this challenge where things slowly got better, minus this order that you see on the screen right now. That order was 20 plus miles. It should have been at a different store, but uh, it was coming to my town, which is about 30 miles away. Makes zero sense, so we uh, did not take that. All right, guys, it is 5.59 a.m. We're seeing this one $35 order almost for 24 miles going into a completely different town. Anyways, the mornings are becoming more bearable. This is technically only my third day waking up early now, but we have been doing this challenge for four days if you include my one off day. So far, I haven't really seen anything crazy in the morning, so hopefully we get some better. Yesterday, we did get that $35 order and it was much easier to shop, I will say because there's no one else there, it was just stalkers. So it's 6 a.m., hoping for a drop right now. I found a spot with some better cell service because yesterday I almost didn't even get that order because my cell service was just that bad. Not doing that, no thanks. Not a lot of great options right now at 6 a.m. Alrighty, so that was a pretty smooth shop. Probably the best one yet. I just realized the first customer is actually an old regular of mine. She doesn't tip initially, but she tips after the fact and she likes to tip cash. But the problem is it's like 6.30 a.m. right now, so the chances of me actually meeting her at the door are probably pretty slim. I'm hoping that she adds a tip on the app though. So let's get driving.
Alrighty guys, we just got a $37 shopping order. Instacart too, so pretty good. That'll put us around 57, I believe. So I wasn't able to film dropping off my last order because uh, the kind lady was helping me unload. I just got back to Walmart. I just took a $20 shopping order and I am surprised that they even are coming out at 8 a.m. Anyways, the sad news is I noticed those chips back there. I had everything in the trunk and I think I had it stacked so high it fell into my back seat. I didn't notice. So the kind lady did not get her chips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this off. I'm gonna go drive all the way back to her house even though she probably already reported it missing, which is fair. Just cause uh, I don't want her to remove the tip that she gave me, which was 27 bucks. And she was very kind and I've delivered to her before. So gotta hold up my reputation, go do what's right. Even though I'm probably already gonna be taking the L for it. We'll see, hopefully she doesn't think I'm just creepy for coming back, but I think it's the right thing to do, right? I don't know, why do I suck at this? Alright guys, so we just dropped off those chips and we just got back to Walmart. We were able to do that shopping order and return the chips all in one hour. So really returning the chips didn't really affect us besides having to drive about an extra like eight miles. Anyways, I got back on the app. She left me a five star review. Alright, speaking of, while I'm doing this, just got a $25 order. Oh yeah, we're taking that. Our last order for the day to put us well over 100. Anyway, she left me a five-star review and increased her tip to a $45 tip. Originally, she tipped me right around 27, I believe, and she increased it a ton. So I'm not gonna lie, I was not looking forward to driving all the way out there to return her chips. Part of me just wanted to forget about them and just accept that she was probably gonna report them missing, but I think my conscience was gonna eat at me all day, so I decided just to do it because she was so generous and nice. I wanted to make sure that she got service that represented a $30 tip. So I went over there and did it. So I messed up, but she was still extremely kind to me. And not only that, but she actually went out of her way to increase her tip. Sometimes making things right will work out for both of you in the end. It is 11.30 a.m. We've worked five and a half hours, basically. We made $144, so we had a great hourly rate today. I think it was somewhere around like 27 bucks an hour, a little bit less with gas, probably closer to 25 per hour with gas right now. Super happy with that. So anyways, day four is complete, and uh, I'll see you guys for day number five. This was just one of those days where waking up early was not actually helpful. Basically, I sat around for an hour staring at my phone trying not to fall asleep again. This seemed to be a reoccurring theme, and I started to realize that Instacart, at least in my market, wasn't that good early in the morning. But Walmart Spark was. Well, today's been pretty unproductive so far. Basically consisted of me just sitting around for an hour trying not to fall asleep. Last night I had to work on my car till almost midnight, so I did not get much sleep. But the good news is my main car should be fixed pretty soon so I could start driving the Civic again. We are at Walmart right now. We uh, abandoned HEB. We're really hoping for a round robin, but uh, technically I should have already received one. So that's a little weird. Anyways, hoping that things pick up pretty soon because I need to go home, take a nap. I'm so tired. Yay for Walmart.
All right guys, so we just took a $18 11 mile order. Definitely not my proudest, but I'm just trying to do some work right now. I really don't want to be sitting. There's one of the orders and then the other one's in the trunk. Alrighty guys, so it is 9.57 now. We're coming up on the end of our day because we just got a $79 order. It must be for a regular of mine because I wasn't even at the store that this order is for. I was straight up five miles away and I still got the order somehow. So I'm driving there right now. I was in Walmart picking up an oil filter for my car. So yeah, this is gonna be our last order. It was only a couple of miles as well, like 40 items. So I'm super happy with this order. Just may not look super happy because I'm so tired. So tired. All right, I'll see you guys with the cart full stuff. Day number six was one of those days where you were so excited, it didn't matter how tired you were, you were able to push through. Because the entire previous night, I was up with my grandpa, working on my Civic, getting this thing running once again, and it finally works. It actually starts, so I'm finally able to use the OG Civic that has gotten me through the past two years of gig work. All right, day number six, guys, feeling pretty good, despite not getting near enough sleep again. This seems to be a reoccurring issue. Anyways, we actually managed to get to HEB early for once, so very proud of myself. We have about 10 minutes until the store opens. We'll see if we get anything. I did just get this Walmart Spark promo, though, so I'm gonna be going even after this challenge, trying to finish that, make an extra 60 smackaroonies. Anyways, I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, so I have a friend over here that uh, decided to come help me today. I regret everything. Yeah, she didn't get much sleep last night. Anyways, while I was in HEB, I saw one order is for $29 and it must have been pretty good because it disappeared very fast. I was in the store on my phone and I got the notification, never even saw the order. So it's now 7.10, we're waiting for the spark drop at Walmart. Alrighty guys, we are doing a $20 spark right now. It is a single. It's kind of weird, it did say it had two customers at first and now it only says one, but it still shows that it's a $20 order. So hopefully we get paid the correct amount for this. All right, so next up, we're doing a $16 Instacart order. It was only five items and like three miles, and it's going closer to Walmart. So that'll get us over there for this curbside. I gotta do at least three more Walmart orders today to stay on track for this promo. That's what I'm seeing right now for the round robin. I was really tempted to take a $10 one that was for one customer. Would have been very easy, but uh, I didn't because I wasn't too sure if I'd get back in time after this Instacart because I would have to pick it up in 25 minutes. So we'll cross our fingers for a shopping order instead.
currently we are doing an $18 spark order. It's only three miles, so nice and easy. Two more after this, and then we'll be done for the day. I think right now we're getting pretty close to $54, $55. Not the best, not the worst. I'll take it though. So we've been sitting for about an hour and a half now. The last round robin was garbage. So right now we're about to do a $16 round robin. So the results of today weren't the best. We made about $93 in like six hours, which is a trash hourly rate, but we did get one third of the way to the Spark promo. So basically if I finish this promo, I made an additional $20 today, putting my total a little closer to 113. Still not that impressive, but today was kind of a fluke. Hopefully tomorrow's a little bit better. So I'll see you guys on the final day of this challenge. I'm ready to go get some sleep and have some fun tomorrow. All right guys, so welcome to day seven. I got the phone ready over there. The store hasn't quite opened yet. Definitely really happy that this challenge is almost over. The hardest part is over with. So anyways, hopefully we actually get something at this HEB. And if not, we're gonna go switch to Spark because we gotta make some money today. All right, so we sat there for a while and I didn't see anything on Instacart. So I took the $16 shipped order and that does not include a tip. If she does tip, this could be like a $30 order. Alright, so just when I thought all hope was lost for getting a spark order, I got one while I was pulling into the lot even though I was about 10 minutes late from the round robin. I have no idea what the shipped order is going to pay but I will throw it up here. With ship, they tip after the service, if at all, so hopefully I do get a tip because the order was worth $270 at the register. The card payment, for some reason my card was not going through, I called a support agent, there's only like one cash register going and no service desk open yet which was one downside about this morning. 
morning. So eventually I just paid for the entire order myself. I will be reimbursed, but uh, yeah, minus 270 in my bank account right now. We got a $16 spark that we're gonna go ahead and do. Nice start for the day. That'll put us at 32. And if the customer tips me, we might be closer to 40 to 50. All right guys, next up we're doing a $14 Spark ASAP order. I could have waited for the round robin, but I decided to take the ASAP and not risk anything. Just trying to get today over with as fast as possible so I can start editing this video because this video is about three hours of footage already. I took a $20 order that I had to drop. It was just too heavy. I don't know why I took it. After that, I did wait for about five more minutes and got an $18 shopping order, way less heavy. It is delivering to an apartment though, but I'll meet my goal for today. And this will technically be the last order for this challenge, unless if I feel like going out and doing another one. All right, so I decided just for giggles that we're gonna go do one more Instacart order. After all, this is sort of like an Instacart video, so it'd be a shame if I didn't even get any Instacart content today. It's just a $10 Walgreens order going back towards my house, so it'll basically pay for all the gas I'll spend today and some, so I'm pretty happy with that. Overall, this has been a great challenge, and I think I might actually continue doing these early mornings, maybe focusing on Walmart Spark at 7 a.m. versus the HB drop at 6 a.m., because out of half of the days, we sat there for almost an hour. So was it worth it? Probably not, but if I just came out at seven, I think it would have been. So seven days later, just working part-time, we made $759.66. Anyways, make sure you guys check the comment section down below for a way to make $10, like the video, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys on the next one.